this power of Parama Chaitanya is in every particle, into every atom. And <clears throat> it acts in such a manner that it directs, it pushes you, it takes you to the path of benevolence. Sometimes people say, Mother, I wanted, you see, to buy this shop, I couldn't get it and all that. It is for your benevolence you didn't get, thank God. After ten days they'll come and tell, thank God I didn't get that. So gradually through experience you start understanding that we don't have to worry. If you are lost on the way, normally people get very upset, but such yogis don't. Oh, very nice, must be something here that God has brought us here. This action slightly then changes. I would say the person who is overacting start thinking now, surrender, Islam, surrender. Give this problem to this Paramchaita. And it works. Such tremendous things have happened in this world just by bandhans, that it is unbelievable how these things are happening. Even supposing you find there are so many murders, this thing has happened, that has happened. This is also just to express the presence of Param Chaitanya, it's Krita. It's uh, working out, the way it works. Krutha means the one which is done. Then you start realizing that this power you can achieve through your Kundalini. So when your Kundalini rises, that is also a reflection of Adi Shakti. Like we can say, we see one part of moon, the another part we don't see. In the same way, this power, when rises within you and touches this Paramachaitan, then you become empowered by that. That's how you are, Sajogis. But you are not God. The incarnations can say, I am God. You are not incarnations. But none of the incarnations have ever said that they are Adishat. They cannot. This power of Adishakti, which we call Param Chaitanya, is the power that loves you has complete control of the nature. It understands, it thinks, it knows everything. Everything about you, it knows. It works in every angle, in every walk of your life. It is with you entirely, as if Supposing you fall into a river which is flowing fast and you cannot swim anymore, you cannot use your hands anymore, you start flowing with it and then you realize that flowing with it is a better thing than to try to get out of it. But just flowing with it, just enjoy it all the nature around you, you don't get drowned. On the contrary, you feel you are elevated and you are flowing with it. Then you understand, what am I to do about something when it is done by Param Chaitanya for me? 
but credit should be given to your Kundalini which has worked it out, has put you onto that shore, has put you onto that beautiful heavenly uh, kingdom of God. Thus, you understand there are two things that have happened, that first your Mother, your Kundalini which is within you, which is your own Mother, which has been with you throughout, has given you this birth. And then it has taken to that power, which power you can use yourself, you are empowered by that. You'll be amazed how this power helps. So it enters into the subtle energy which is all-pervading, which we do not feel normally. But then the Chaitanya, the vibrations which are the part and parcel of this, ener of this energy, all-pervading power, the Bar Parama Chaitanya, they start entering into our brain and showering their blessings in the limbic area they assemble. Now the limbic area is connected to all the area of the brain and also to the nerves. So it starts flowing onto the nerves, giving you the new awareness of collective consciousness called as Samuhik Chetana. So you get a new chetana, a new awareness, which is showered upon your limbic area. The working of these chaitanya waves is very interesting. They are normally formed like small commas, but then they go into different forms, they make themselves into swastikas as the four-limbed symbol of innocence or they become the Omkara, as you know how Om is written. which is the symbol of our doing, our awareness. So when they form the swastika, they try to nourish the left side and when they form the onkara, they nourish the right side left and right sympathetic nervous system, they nourish. But Sahasrara is to be kept open is rather difficult for people because it's a vicious circle. First these vibrations should enter into your brain through the Brahma Randra when it is opened out and they should nourish your nerves by which your left and right side open out and so more Chaitanya can flow down all these centers. But if your Sahasrara is not properly opened, this process doesn't take place. 
As a result of that, the chakras don't open. The Kundalini only as very few strands is kept in the spinal cord and the new strands cannot rise because your chakras are not open. So in Sahaja Yoga it is very important to keep your Sahastrara open. Otherwise there's a vicious circle. 